Hi, welcome back to the channel. If it's your first time here, my name's Lee. Um, on this channel, we cover um, food and travel, we cover technology, and I do opinion and geopolitical pieces, and this is one of them. Now, this is a follow up to the video I did about Nancy Pelosi's visit to Taiwan a couple of days ago. That video was before she arrived. If you do want to check that out, I'll leave a link in the description. Nancy Pelosi's visit went ahead, which was quite a surprise to me, um, because I think after um, she'd been advised by many people not to, and also strong warnings from China, um, she did make a visit to Taiwan. Um, and I even read a report that even Taiwan had has asked her not to come. But her visiting there just shows how selfish and self-centered she is, and Obviously, it will have no consequences on her, but it will have consequences for many people around the world. However, like I predicted in my previous video, China didn't attempt to shoot down the plane or interfere with it in any way. And I felt that this showed great restraint from China. And it just goes to show that um, in this uh, scenario that China are the adults in the room and that the USA is simply behaving like spoiled children. So Pelosi arrived in darkness unannounced almost like a thief in the night and something that I was surprised to see that on one of the tallest buildings in Taiwan there was a message displayed that Taiwan loves USA. Now I wonder who was behind that for a start and I also wonder how many Taiwanese people do truly love the USA when it's plain to certainly people outside of uh, Taiwan that it's the USA stirring up trouble in the region. Pelosi had a number of um, appointments the following day and left in the afternoon of the following day. But it wasn't all plain sailing. Uh, as you can see from these images, there were demonstrations against her visit, but I guess this is something you just won't see in the Western press. So now Pelosi has left Taiwan, now what? What will happen next? Well, many anti-China people on social media seem quite disappointed that the uh, Chinese PLA didn't interfere with or shoot down her plane. But I think this was never going to be the case. This is exactly what America wanted and China didn't rise to them. They showed great restraint and anybody who knows anything about China know that China are much more strategic than that. They will plan their response and it will be delivered at a time of their choosing, probably when the USA is least expecting it. So far up to now we've seen China impose an import ban on citrus fruits and also an export ban on um, a certain type of sand which is critical in the manufacture of silicon chips. Um, now although these are not huge measures, um, they will be strategic measures. Taiwan does a lot of trade with the mainland and any sort of um, ban or sanction will hurt Taiwan much more than I would imagine it will hurt China. And additionally to that, um, the Chinese PLA, the People's Liberation Army, have launched what is undoubtedly the largest military exercise around the island of Taiwan that they've ever done. And I think this is sending a clear message, not just to Taiwan, but also to the United States. And just as I was making this video, it's been announced in the news that Wang Yi, um, China's foreign minister has cancelled meetings with a Japanese diplomat and also Anthony Blinken, the US Secretary of State. And this is over a statement that the G7 has put out. And that statement basically says that China are being aggressive in the South China Sea and being aggressive towards Taiwan. And personally, I think it's unbelievable how the West provokes China they cross a red line and they completely disregard the one China policy. And then when China responds in defense, um, 
the Western media and the Western governments through this G7 statement suggest that it's China who are being the aggressive ones. It's just absolutely ridiculous. And it's even more ridiculous that the, um, they accuse China of um, upsetting the peace in the South China Sea region when you've only got to look at the USA who've invaded multiple countries and overthrown numerous governments in the last 40 years. It's really not China who are the aggressive ones here. Anybody with half a brain can sort of look at what's gone on over the last 40 years and see who the aggressive ones are here. And again, my opinion, there was no need for Pelosi to visit Taiwan at all. I think it's merely a stunt. It's probably designed to divert some of the attention from the, the problems she's got going on back home. And it's also an attempt to probably drum up um, support for the Democrats in the midterm elections, which are coming very shortly. I mean, the reality of the situation is, is that many Americans, probably if not most Americans, know very little about Taiwan or even care about Taiwan. The only thing that things that they probably know about Taiwan is the um, China bad narrative that is um, fed to them by their corrupt media. And I don't think you should be under any doubts or illusions that um, Pelosi visiting Taiwan, crossing China's red line, defying the one China uh, principle um, is a game changer. You know, th this was crossing the Rubicon. It, it's China, US relations are never going to be the same again after this. And even though um, I think uh, China um, government didn't trust the USA before this, they certainly won't trust them going forward. And I think they will plan their strategy accordingly. And at a time of already very high tensions between the um, US and China, um, I just feel Pelosi's visit was unnecessarily and completely reckless and all it did is serve uh, Pelosi's own interests and the US's own interests. The US don't really care about Taiwan and as I said in my previous video, my theory is that um, the US are trying to provoke China to fire the first shot, throw the first punch um, and then I think they want to use Taiwan along with possibly South Korea and Japan as proxies to wage war against China in order to contain China's rise. Because let's face it, you know, there's, there's a lot of information in the states that that's their goal is to um, prevent China's rise. Just like they're doing now with Ukraine um, fighting Russia through a proxy. But unfortunately, from what I understand, um, it's not going well for them in Ukraine and it seems now Zelensky is begging uh, Xi Jinping for a meeting to try and help with bringing an end to the war. And one other thing, just before I go, uh, it seems that the West just, just don't learn from, from their mistakes. They continue to provoke China and I read an article in The Guardian that, that now the um, Britain, the UK, are looking at sending a delegation of MPs to Taiwan later in the year. Again, that will come with consequences for the UK. And as the UK have exited the European Union, I think that the UK should be trying to make friends here, not enemies. And, and I am concerned that when Liz Truss gets in, she's a massive anti-China um, advocate and I think things will just deteriorate between the UK and China as well and that will be at the detriment of the UK for sure. In my opinion it seems now the UK doesn't have any independent foreign policy of its own, it basically follows or does what the USA wants it to do. Anyway, I hope you found that interesting, I wanted to get my opinions out there, it'll be very interesting to know what you guys think down in the comments. Um, if you do like the channel, consider supporting us on Buy Me A Coffee, Patreon or something similar. Um, 
you haven't seen much of Ollie recently, but um, Ollie's going to be back soon. We're going to go travelling. We've got a, um, we're first going to South Africa, then we're going back to Italy, then across to Thailand, and then possibly India. So there's a lot of very, very interesting content on the way. So, so please consider supporting us. But if you did like the video, give it a thumbs up. And if you like the channel, consider hitting that subscribe button. We have a really, really varied amount of content on the channel, so something for almost everybody. But as always, for now, take care.